Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chili. Um, I've had several people the last couple uh, matches I went to asking about my, my Ruger and all the upgrades I've did to my 2245. So I thought I'd just make a short video um, describing everything. Um, first off, the gun is unloaded. There's no rounds anywhere near the table. I don't know if you can see, but the chamber is empty. Pulled the trigger. There we go. So we are safe. Um, all these parts that I'm going to mention, um, I ain't going to really go into much detail on how to install them. Um, several of them are tandem cross parts. If you go to their website for all their parts, they usually have instructional videos. Um, or you can check out Lawson11B on YouTube. He has great um, instructions on, on installing almost all these parts. So uh, you can check them out if you want to know how to install them. Um, first off is the Tandem Cross Game Changer Compensator. Um, it does its job. It works very well. A lot of people say, uh, well, you know, 22s or rimfire don't have that much uh, recoil to begin with or muzzle rise, but they have more than you think, and, and it does its job at keeping the muzzle down, especially when you're into, you know, shooting sp uh, steel really fast and in matches and stuff. Um, number two is going to be the Stripling Custom Gunworks 90 degree Seymour mount. Uh, you can see the back there. It, it, it's, it's, in my opinion, this setup is is the best setup you could put on, on one of these Rugers or a Buckmark or anything. Um, I used to have a primary arms micro mounted on a rail on here and I, I just didn't like it. It, I kept losing the dot whenever I come up from the low ready. I just, I didn't like it at all. So uh, I broke down and uh, I found, actually found the Seymour used online, ordered Mr. Bill Stripling's mount and I must say Bill Stripling is a awesome guy. Um, I actually just talked to him yesterday. He's supposed to be making a, uh, a thumb rest for my, my new Smith & Wesson Victory that I'm going to try out for him. Um, check out his website. He's a great guy. Super nice. Very fast shipping on all his products. Um, as far as his mountain to see more, um, it's great. It it gets it. It gets the dot closer to the the bore of the gun, which which helps with target transitions and you know coming up from low ready, seeing that dot every time. Just works. Great stuff. Um, next is gonna be the Seymour slide rise six MOA. Um, like I said, I found this used. I wish it was a bigger MOA, like an eight or a twelve, especially for shooting steel and everything. But it, it does its job. Works great. Seymour, some of the best optics out there for uh, competition shooting. Um, next is gonna be the rim edge thumb rest, which is right here. Um, it works great as far as keeping your thumb, you know, it kind of works as a gas pedal. You want to kind of push down on it whenever you're shooting. It, it helps keep the muzzle down, but it helps with correct finger placement every time. Um, my my buddy actually gave me that when we put it on the pistol, and um, at that time I didn't know, but Stripling, the same one that makes the optic mount, um, he makes a thumb rest, and uh, I, I may switch over to it buy it and switch over to it. I haven't decided yet. That would um, that would make me have to drill extra holes in my frame and I just don't know if I want to do that yet. I, I'm undecided so and also rim edge that that company does not make that thumb rest anymore. Now they make ones that bolt to the rail and hang off side of the gun. I, I, just, I just don't like them. Um, if I was to buy one now it'd be a strip on custom gun works. Next could be the Tandem Cross um, Loaded Chamber Indicator Replacement. Uh, the Loaded Chamber Indicator has, has been known to cause cause issues with the gun as far as jamming and everything else. So that, that does away with that. It's an insert that just slides in and a, uh, a little screw holds it in from the bottom of the upper. Works well. Next is going to be the, um, the Cane Wolf Slingshot Mod. 
Tandem Cross also also sells this. You basically uh, it's in your bolt release. Whenever you, your bolts lock back, instead of having to hit the bolt release, you can just slingshot it. Um, check out Tandem Cross; they make they make awesome stuff. Also, for for all of these parts that I'm mentioning, um, I'm gonna post in the description uh, what they are and and the websites that you can go to get them at. Next is gonna be the Tactical Solutions charging handle. I can't remember where I picked this up. Um, <clears throat> I believe it was about 18 bucks. Um, I, I did have problems with it coming off. It, whenever uh, several steel matches, I went to rack the bolt and and it it just flew right off. So uh, I ended up putting a zip tie in between it, twisted it on where it was super tight, and just trimmed the zip tie. But that that has worked for now, so I'm gonna keep on with it since it's working. Next could be the Volcors and Accurizing Kit. Um, they make one for the Ruger Mark III 2245. I ordered the the Mark II kit um, just because it includes a hammer bushing, which um, eliminates the mag disconnect. So where your uh, mags drop free and you don't have to have the mag in it to, to break the gun down and everything. Um, but the accurizing kit consists of the target trigger, the target hammer, the target sear, the trigger return spring, the polished plunger, and the hammer bushing. Um, that kit also includes the um, extended bolt release and sear spring, but both of them are not used in the 2245. Next is going to be the uh, Tandem Cross Fire Starter Firing Pin. Um, next is going to be the Volkorsen Exact Edge Extractor. Um, next is the Dura Grips. I actually won them on eBay on an auction. I like the way they look on it. Uh, they, they feel really great. They do the job. Um, next is going to be the Tandem Cross Plus One Pro Mag bumpers. Um, these really help. I mean, even even when you replace that uh, hammer bush and your your mags drop free, but these do these really shoot out of there. They're spring spring loaded. Um, they're plus one, and also whenever you they're in the gun, they also help with you know getting your mag seated. They stick out of the gun more more than factory, which helps get your mag seated. And as you can see, they uh, they really shoot out of there. All right, and the last thing I have is the um, the ultimate. Let me move this gun out of the way. The ultimate clip loader. I actually ordered this from Tandem Cross. Also, um, I would say if you have a Ruger or Butt Mark or any 22 pistol, I would say that this this is the must-have. Uh, if your fi your fingers are getting tired loading the mags, you know they start hurting after a while. This does away with that. You open up the door. Drop your 22 rounds in. They will line up in this back channel. And then you just slide your mag in and they drop right in your mag. Um, they're great. They also make uh, make one of these with a trigger on it. Uh, basically for the uh, my rifle I shoot a Smith & Wesson MP1522. Um, they make the adapter for it from another loader. And um, if I had to make some, some great stuff, uh, check them out. So that's all. The, that's all the uh, the parts that I have upgraded in my in my 2245. Um, I just want to say a couple more quick things. Um, if you've never really gotten into competition shooting, I would say the the rimfire matches is where to start. Um, they are very family friendly. They they they're a blast. They're a blast to shoot. Um, if you're in North Carolina, check out DPRC. If you wanna, if you wanna try them out, that's Durham Rifle and Pistol Club. It's uh, near Mebane, and uh, they have two gun rimfire matches the second Saturday of every month. And uh, super nice guys up there, very family friendly. Um, bring your kids out, your wife, your, your girlfriend, it, it don't matter. Come out, we have a awesome time, and uh, I believe I believe they'll really enjoy it. Um, just get your kids out there shooting. That's what I like to see. Um, 
but th- this is really my first video where I'm, where I'm sitting here talking. Usually, I just post videos of me shooting. But uh, I, ho- I hope you enjoy it. I hope I hope this helps some some of the parts that I have on mine. Uh, it seems to do the job. The gun's great. Um, if you would just uh, like the video and also uh, subscribe to my page, I appreciate it. Um, all right, I'm out. Shoot on, guys.